Okay guys, got another quick uh, micro drones uh, video here for you. Uh, as you know that I'm, I'm starting to fly more 3S batteries on these little micros and when you switch from a 2S to a 3S battery you need to change your PIDs because uh, oftentimes the PIDs on a 2S battery are going to be way too high for a 3S battery and you're just going to get lots of oscillations and basically it doesn't fly. Uh, well, it won't fly well and most of the times it won't fly at all. It'll just end up going crazy and crashing. So. What I do is I use PID profiles, and I'll explain to you how I do that. If you have a micro with an OSD, which is the ideal situation, you can obviously go into the OSD and then select your PID profile there. So I'll just go down to Profile, and right now I'm on Profile 2, as you can see here on the screen. And then, of course, you can adjust the, the PIDs for that profile here. And if I get back here and then go back out and then change my profile to say one, I have to go and save that. So you go back and then you'd have to do a save and reboot. And then you can go back in here and then you can then change the PIDs for that profile. So usually I fly uh, PID profile one on 2S and PID profile two on 3S. And obviously this is the way to do it via the OSD. It's quite easy to do. But say if I wanted to quickly change from PID Profile 1 to PID, prof PID Profile 2, let me just exit out here, and there's a way to do it with the stick commands. And um, also, obviously, you can go into the configurator itself. You can plug this into your laptop and go into the Betaflight configurator and manually save the PID change on the computer as well. That's probably the least convenient way to do it, but obviously you can do that as well through the computer. The, probably the fastest way to do it, if you don't have an OSD, this is also a faster way, is assuming you've already set your PIDs for both profiles, you can use the stick commands to change them. So uh, the way to do it is you have the yaw down, or throttle down, yaw to the left. That's the stick, the left stick has to be like that. And then profile one will be the right stick pointing to the left, profile two is pointing up, and profile three, if you use that, is going to be to the right. And each time you change your profile, it will, the uh, flight control will beep at you if you, have a, if you have a buzzer on there. So let me just demonstrate. If I want to go to profile one, it beeps one time, two, it beeps twice, three, it beeps three times. So as you know, I was, I was on profile one, I just switched it to profile two. So we should be able to see that change now. And as you can see, let's see here, and go into the, go into the profiles. You can see that now we are switched to profile two. So even if you don't have an OSD, uh, you can quickly change your PID profile just using stick commands. And I usually just use the save command as well, which is throttle down into the left and also right stick down into the right. And you hear two beeps actually one beep, and then that means that the save setting has been changed. Although I don't, I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not. If you unplug the power, it might not be saved, but I usually just do that as a, just a, uh, out of habit. So if you guys are flying 2 and 3S on these micros, this is a pretty good way to manage your PID profiles. Um, very easy to do and easy to switch back and forth between the batteries if you need to.